What's up guys? Today's video is on the top 5 best X570 motherboards. So I made the list from personal opinion, in hours of research, and I've included different options for every type of buyer. As always all links to the product mentioned in the video will be in the description box, down below. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So, here are the top 5, best X570 motherboards. The fifth product on our list is the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite. This is our pick for the best budget best X570 motherboards. It is available for around $180. If you are looking for a budget-friendly way to get into the AMD platform, Gigabyte's X570 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi provides a route. This powerful motherboard packs a lot of features has decent capability for handling some pretty heavy loads. Starting with the memory, they were able to build an ultrafast and PCIe 4.0 M.2 memory slots. This ensures that gamers will be able to get super high-speed performance when they're playing their favorite games. This interface provides twice the bandwidth for PCIe 4 enabled SSDs that are able to utilize it. The X570 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi has two M.2 slots, both of which offer PCIe 4.0 bandwidth. One matching SSD heatsink is included with the board. The system is also driven by a complex power management chip said that delivers enhanced power distribution whenever you're overclocking your Ryzen CPU. Moving on to the aesthetics, you will see a motherboard that not only performs great but looks great too. Gigabyte spent a ton of time perfecting the layout and making sure everything fit and had its own space. Speaking of heat dissipation, there are also plenty of cooling options built into this board. The Aorus Elite features Gigabyte Smart Fan 5 technology that uses sensors to control the fans for optimal performance. The system also integrates seamlessly with water cooling and water pumps to make sure your system is always operating at peak performance standards. Other notable features that you will find in this system are high-end audio capacitors as well as an audio noise guard system developed by Gigabyte. The system also includes support for RGB lights both on board and addressable LEDs can be connected into available pin headers. Some of the pros for this product include, M.2 heatsink included, good value, integrated I.O. shield. However, a con for this product, no rear type C port. The powerful features and support for modern technologies give this motherboard the ability to hold its value well into the future. Not to mention, the powerful X570 chipset is the latest and greatest from AMD. In fourth place, we have the Asus AM4 Tough Gaming X570. Our pick for the best value X570 motherboard. At this time, it is priced at around $190. The Asus Tough Gaming is an AMD X570 chipset-based motherboard with a built-in Wi-Fi adapter. There is a non-Wi-Fi version of the motherboard. Functionally, they are identical in quality and design aside from this one change. The Asus Tough Gaming X570 uses a 6-layer PCB and is an ATX motherboard using the AM4 socket for AMD Ryzen processors. This gaming motherboard layout is excellent with no major flaws or issues. Aside from the SATA connectors, the headers and port placement are quite good and marked reasonably well. It has one CPU fan header, one CPU option header, one AIO pump header, and three standard four-pin fan headers. All of which support DC and PWM control modes. There are an addressable RGB header and two Aura-compatible RGB headers. When it comes to power delivery, there is a lot to unpack here. The VRM configuration is advertised as having 12 plus 2 phases. The Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus supports up to 128GB of RAM. It has four 288-pin DDR4 memory slots supporting memory speeds upwards of 5100MHz through overclocking. Naturally, it supports dual-channel memory mode operation. The expansion slot area is well thought out. Slot spacing is excellent and lends itself well to the use of dual GPU cards, or a GPU and something like a RAID controller or an extra PCI Express network controller. Some of the pros of this product include, great pricing, USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port, UEFI BIOS design and usability, chipset active cooling. However, a con for this product, no front panel USB 3.1 Gen 2 port. The rear I.O. panel has a lot of connectivity options, especially for something that's relatively inexpensive for X570. We have four USB Type 3.2 Gen 1 ports, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and one Gen 1 USB Type-C port, one display port, one HDMI port, two antenna connectors, one RJ45 LAN port, five analog mini stereo jacks, one optical output, and one combination PS2 keyboard or mouse port. 
The third product on our list is Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro. It is available for around $270. This is our option for the best midrange X570 motherboard. Someone not looking for additional armor, 3M.2 slots or more advanced network connectivity may look at the X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi which provides a little bit of everything. The Aorus Pro Wi-Fi features a 12 plus 2 phase digital VRM solution, dual NVMe PCIe Gen 4 and Gen 3 X4, M.2 slots, Intel Wi-Fi 6802.11x, Intel Gigabit LAN, integrated rear I.O. shield, and an ALC 1220 VB audio IC. Being that the Aorus Pro Wi-Fi sits in the middle of the Aorus lineup of motherboards, it remains quite affordable. Looking toward the AM4 socket itself is a black silver VRM heatsink as well as two pre-installed cooler brackets, which are used for the AMD Wraith cooler included with your Ryzen chip. The board's X570 chipset is covered with a brushed aluminum Aorus branded shroud which includes a little fan to help keep it cool. The X570 Aorus contains two PCIe 4.0 M.2 slots which are covered with a thermal guard heatsink. It's also nice to see motherboard manufacturers going the extra mile by adding things like M.2 heatsinks. Not only do they improve thermals but they also look much better than some bare M.2 PCBs. The X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi also includes stainless steel armor for both the memory slots and PCIe 4.0 slots. This not only looks great but also makes the slots much stronger when installing removing hardware by preventing the motherboard from twisting bending. On the lower right side of the Aorus Pro Wi-Fi are the 6 SATA 6 gigabits per second ports which have support for RAID 0110. Some of the pros for this product include, great aesthetics, a good number of USB ports, extensive VRM cooling around the CPU, removable M.2 heatsinks. However, a con for this product, still using USB 2.0 on the rear I.O. Another nice inclusion with the X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi is the custom Aorus Wi-Fi antenna. It features an adjustable wing to help you get the best signal and a magnetic bottom so you can easily secure it to the top of your case. The second product on our list is Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Ultra. This is our pick for the best runner-up X570 motherboard. It is priced at around $250. Taking a first look at the Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Ultra motherboard we can see that they have gone with an all-black PCB with black and silver accents. Typically, with Aorus boards Gigabyte keeps the colors neutral and they let the RGB lighting do the rest, this board is no different. Starting at the CPU socket we have Intel's LGA1151 socket, Intel Z390 boards support both 8th and 9th generation Intel Core processors. This board has a 12 plus 1 power phase design which includes both a digital PWM controller and DRMOS. Gigabyte has covered these heatsinks with a cover that connects to the rear I.O. making the top corner look like a single piece. Hidden in the top corner of the board is your 8 plus 4 pin EPS connector. There is also a 4 pin fan header there as well. Moving over towards the memory slots you'll find two more 4 pin fan headers, which are for your CPU fan and optional CPU fan. Coming to the memory slots we have 4 and they do have Gigabyte's ultra durable memory armor. Along the edge of the board, there are two RGB headers, one 4-pin standard, one 3-pin ARGB, a 24-pin ATX power connection, a 4-pin pump header, USB 3.1 Gen 1 header, and a USB Type-C internal header, USB 3.1 Gen 2. Along the bottom of the board is where you are going to find the rest of your headers and connections. From left to right you have your audio headers, two RGB headers, one 4-pin standard, one 3-pin ARGB, TPM header, COM port header, two USB 2.0 headers, a postcode display, three 4-pin headers, two fans, one pump, and your front panel headers. Some of the pros for this product include, enthusiast-grade features, two USB 3.1 Type-C front connector, support for ECC memory, good value. However, a con for this product, no PCIe 4.0. The Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Ultra is an all-around great motherboard, with enthusiast-level features that'll make your future build soar. And coming in the first place, we have the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme. This is our pick for the best overall X570 motherboards. Gigabyte's BIOS has come a long way in the past few generations. This replica of their BIOS is very user-friendly. It has a black background, written in white letters with orange accents, consistent with the Aorus brand. Easy mode of the BIOS offers excellent functionality and is quite informative. On the left, it displays motherboard type, BIOS version, CPU, RAM, and storage information. 
The introduction of the X570 chipset recently heralded some of the most impressive and feature-rich desktop boards for an AMD platform. One of the best examples of this is the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme with a Quantia-powered 10G NIC, Intel's Wi-Fi 6802.11X wireless interface, and support for up to three PCIe 4.0 X4 M.2 drivers. For more extreme enthusiasts who want to live up to extreme naming, there is a 16-phase power distribution with dual BIOS. Users who want to create a clean-looking RGB-loaded system will appreciate the right-angled 24-pin motherboard power input. The X570 Aorus Extreme is the only existing motherboard with a passively cooled chipset heatsink. Gigabyte wants to make its flagship model unique and stand out from the crowd. Memory support is also impressive with support for up to DDR4-4400 and is capable of housing up to 128GB across 4 RAM slots. One further negative, it has a noticeable idle noise, and a noise gate that kicks in with an audible tick after playback stops. There is also an IDT PCIe 4.0 clock generator used to manage PCIe 4.0 bus speed. It should be noted that using an M.2 drive in the bottom M.2 slot will disable two of the SATA ports. Some of the pros for this product include, great design aesthetics, industry best VRM and power stages, 10G LAN, Wi-Fi 6. However, a con for this product, EATX form factor. We are very impressed by this motherboard. If you have deep pockets and are looking for the best X570 motherboard to pair with your new Ryzen CPU, we recommend the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Extreme.